Jackie Drake only leaves home once a month to go to hospital. She has incurable skin cancer and has had one of her lungs removed. She's extremely vulnerable to COVID-19. Being on my own now in isolation, obviously, is difficult as it is for everybody. Um, because, you know, you want, to be, you want to be out there with your friends, your family, and, and you can't. In England, 2.16 million people have been advised by the government to shield, avoiding all face-to-face -face contact and staying indoors apart from when going to medical appointments. Just got into my car and now heading to the Bexley for treatment. We've arrived at the Bexley, the Leeds Cancer Centre, and now heading up to J80, which is the day one. Just waiting for my cannula to be put in, and then the drug will be put up, and it'll probably take about a couple of hours. The advice for people who are shielding remains to stay at home until the end of June. Jackie's keeping busy with her charity appeal, Jackie's Million, but she'd like more clarity on what happens next. I'm hoping and praying that it won't be longer than 12 weeks, if I'm honest. And my positivity keeps me going. It's terrible what's been happening and what still is happening. But, you know, we've got to keep that positivity and we moving forward. Or else, you know, where do we go? On your mark. Set. Go! Ellie Simpson is a world record holding race runner and before lockdown trained on the track at Sheffield. She has cerebral palsy and usually employs a personal assistant to help her. But social distancing rules mean she's relying on mum and dad and she's missing her independence. When I'm with my peers, like, I can go out on the bathroom on my daily life, how I keep it. Whereas at the moment, I can't do that. Ellie runs the charity CP Teens, a community for young people with cerebral palsy, and the demand for online support has increased during lockdown. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting a lot of messages that like, oh, I'm really down or I'm really bored. And because I have got that online community going on, I can say, oh, it's OK, <laughs> join in. Having a sense of purpose and plenty of resilience is helping Ellie and Jackie cope with isolation, which for people who are shielding will be going on for some weeks or months yet. I think I'm just looking forward to like seeing people and going to the pub and just like all those normal things that normal, yeah, in normal life you take for granted. Sally Hurst, BBC Lot North. Thank you.